Greetings, programs, and welcome back to Arc Neo Reviews, where today we're going to take a look at something kind of weird that I don't see many people really remembering. And that is actually G2 Hero Optimus Prime. Now, yes, this is a very, very different looking truck. Now, the G2 Optimus that most people are familiar with was basically just the G1 toy with a slightly different trailer, as I recall. And, you know, a little bit of different paint, but for the most part, it was still G1 Optimus. Then, a little bit later, they did, and obviously they did that, you know, the first version of Tank Megatron, which, that figure is amazing. I really, really want to try to get that sometime for as goofy as it looks. But a few years after that, they did these uh, slightly smaller, I guess, deluxe-ish size figures. Really not sure what you'd call this size class. But, um, yeah, they did an Optimus. I know of at least an Optimus and a Megatron they did in this size. They called them Cybertron Heroes or something like that. And they both had these big, crazy air pump cannons. Now, this is the exact same tech that you saw in the uh, Black Convoy video I did. Um, I'm not going to bother launching this missile because um, it doesn't work on this guy. Like, I'm getting air out of here. There's not a problem with the, uh, the air bladder and stuff, or the air pump. But something, something with the missile in particular... I can get it on here, and we'll see if this cult you know makes a liar out of me. But several other times, I have. You see, I, I'm actually bashing the thing, and it barely slides off. So, kind of weird. Um, missile itself is just a big white tube. Now, when you got this guy new, you would have gotten two of these. Uh, this guy has only held on to one over the years, which does not bother me. Um, this is hard plastic, unlike the uh, Black Convoy, you know, Japanese release that had this piece rubber. I'm actually shocked that somehow in America they deemed it safer to do hard plastic here than uh, the rubber tip, but... And uh, in this one, you can very clearly see this uh, flattened outside. That is why these missiles only go on one direction. Um, the bottom of this barrel is also flat. But there's that. Um, stored up here, you do also have his uh, little standalone blaster. Pretty simple, but fairly neat looking design. And one second, I want to check something. Okay, if this works, this will be cool. Um, ha! We have, um, in the in the words of Imgo, we have bluish compatibility here with a figure from 1994, 95, somewhere around there. Um, Mid-90s figure still has very, very good bluish compatibility. With my slightly um, bent blush. So, there. We did something to make him go proud. We found very old blush compatibility. It's like they have always sized toys using millimeters or something. <laughs> so, there's that. Um, truck itself, as you can see, very, very different look for Optimus. Go ahead and... Uh, get that back on there. Um, painted stripes all on the front. Little bits of chrome here and there. Uh, clear windshield. Little bit of a skylight even. It's clear side windows. Um, the chrome has managed to stay on his wheels. Uh, pretty obvious underside. Gotta love how in G2 all the uh, Autobots got... Not just the Autobots, I guess, but, you know, everyone got, like, super self-absorbed and stuck their names on their chests. But, yeah, overall, um, pretty neat figure. You can also rotate the uh, big cannon back here, 
while it's in this mode. But enough about that. Let's go ahead get into the robot mode. So you're going to pop off the cannon like I did, obviously. And then you're going to come here and take these two little pieces on the front of the uh, truck and fold them down in like that. Yes, those can be a little tricky to get out when you're putting them back into truck mode. But you're going to do that. Then fold the whole front of the truck up and forward. And, okay. Sometimes this works better if you pop the legs apart now. But eventually just kind of work it a little bit. <sighs> Things will straighten out. Um, this peg is kind of shifting as it goes. And unlike, say, G1 Optimus, this isn't, you know, shaped in a clever way so that it moves itself over as it rotates. No, here you basically just bring it up, shift it yourself. And it's a little sticky, a little sticky on mine. But go ahead, do that. Stand them up. Split the back of the truck like that. Rotate this cannon around. Then you're going to rotate the shoulders forward. Pull out the elbows. They only come out that one little click, but that is enough. Rotate the arm into place. Yes, this cannon is going to be flopping around in your way the whole time, but go ahead, do that, and slide out his hand. And just to get out of the way, yes, you can um, replace this two pegs, two peg holes. It's the exact same spot that it pegs in for the vehicle mode. But yes, you do have to pop it off just for clearance sake in transformation. But same thing over here. Rotate around, slide out, rotate, bring down, fist. And there you have G2 Optimus in his robot mode. And this is a really, really good Optimus, actually. I, I do really like this design. Um, he ends up getting back the classic, you know, square grill chest, even though it makes no sense for him to have in this mode. Um, really, really nice head sculpt here. And if I can find... <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll get to that in a second. But um yeah, um this figure is actually light piped, which is really really cool. Um it is just clear light piping, which is a little weird. You would have expected some nice baby blues for Optimus, but I guess this Optimus just got white, but <laughs> that works. Um posability wise, uh shoulders can rotate all the way around on a soft ratchet. A little bit of a stiffer ratchet for outward on the shoulder. Obviously you can go up further if you use that joint. Uh, bicep swivel. Uh, ratcheted 90 degrees at the elbow. He does actually have a waist rotation. Also ratcheted. Ratcheted forward, back, um, just a normal hinge out, and from transformation he does technically have knees, but they will be a little loose, but overall, you know, this is a really, really impressive Optimus, until you try to pose him, um, yes, unfortunately, for all the stuff this guy does, he's missing any form of heel spur, like a newer figure would have. And that does end up being pretty detrimental, because he's back heavy. He's really, really back heavy. And with the hollow backs of his legs, he falls over really easily. It, not to mention, normally... He's also going to have two of these clipped onto his back right there, making it, you know, worse. Then to counteract it, all you can do is give him this little thing. 
if I can find the hand peg. There we go. So the the back heaviness is a little bit of a bummer. Oh, it, in my usual me method, I forgot. Um, yeah, he, his head rotates. The I don't know why. I the head. I always forget the head when I'm talking about posability. What the heck? I knocked the missile off trying to clean this guy up a little bit more. Um, yeah, this guy was basically just stuck on someone's shelf for years, I'm guessing. When he got to me, he was quite, quite dusty. I've been working on uh, cleaning him up a little bit here. But, yeah, you know, a little bit hard to, uh, hard to get him to stand aside. This is a really cool, really different version of Optimus. Now, I do believe that he's got, uh, I'm pretty sure these are Repro Label um, Autobot insignias on his shoulders. Because as, as I recall, um, G2 Optimus, G2 Autobots in general did actually have a different insignia than, um, you know, G1. But that aside, this is a really weird, really cool version of Optimus, and I'm Kind of shocked that so far I haven't seen anything really redo this. You know, we got a Hasbro, you know, uh, Generation Selects Megatron that was of the unreleased Megatron Hero repaint from G2. And they're about to come out with, you know, the Earthrise Megatron repainted in the normal G2 colors. And it's like... Why not another, you know, white-cabbed, long-nosed Optimus? This is, this is cool. This is weird. And you've already got, you know, an Optimus mold. You've got the Titan's Return Optimus that, you know, was basically just Octane. But, you know, you've got a mold already sitting there you could use. Just paint the front like this and then go, Hey, by the way, it's also a triple changer. Woohoo! And maybe you could fix the wing problem that mold had. <laughs> but, you know, I, again, I just find it weird. This is a really cool, really unique Optimus, and I don't see any real references made to this version. And, yeah, that's a shame. I mean, come on. This figure was compatible with stuff that wouldn't come out for another <laughs> freaking... Uh, like 30 years or something, 25, 30 years after it was released. That's cool. And so, yeah, if you see this figure for a decent price, you're going to have a hard time getting him to stand. Uh, pro tip, it does work better if you keep his legs, like, really, really close to each other. <laughs> but, yeah, he's really cool and really, he's unique among Optimus figures. And that counts for a lot. So, anyway, rambling aside, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.